What's up guys, John Origins here, today bringing you a Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi Battle. Playing Youngster j Pal in the UU tier, using this team that I built a while back, but I want to talk about that, you know, as the battle unfolds, but for now I want to talk about why uh, there has been a lack of uploads. I know people don't like hearing about this, but I figured get it out of the way for the odd person that might want to hear why I haven't been uploading. Well, let's uh, fast forward forward back a week yeah that makes sense um, on the Sunday I became ill most likely some sort of food poisoning and uh, you know thrown up over the place I wasn't on my computer until Tuesday and then at that point I didn't I was busy up until about Thursday when I recorded some battle factory with Eric and here we are today I got this battle and uh, I'm going to upload it yeah that's how it works out you know uploading stuff like that yeah it's a little sneak peek to upload you need to upload yeah yeah but let's just get into the battle. I'm leading off with my Nino King Life Orb Sheer Force. The whole deal, you know, the standard Nino King set. He leads off with the Nino Queen. I'm like, okay, he might go for the Stealth Rock, so I'm going to have a heavy hit with the Earth Power. And that's exactly what almost happened. Is that he switched out into Stonax, and I don't want that. It does actually a lot, which led me to believe that it wasn't completely spe specially defensive. And you'll see later that it actually isn't, as he makes a prediction here. I don't know what prediction, but ends up double switching back to his Nino Queen, which works out perfectly for him. As now my, uh, I decided to bring in Slowbro because I can get off any sort of damage with a Psychic or a Scald. I went for the Psychic here, which was potentially the worst of the two moves, because if I went for the Scald, I could have got the burn and that would have been great for me, for any of his guys, because he's got a relatively bulky team. But I went for the Psychic. I actually did a lot to that Zapdos, so I'm pretty happy with that. Here I'm going to switch out into my Umbreon, and he predicts something, and this works out great for him. You know why? You know why this works great? You know, you're thinking to yourself, this is an Umbreon, especially defensive. I can take a dry attack pretty well, except if that Porygon Z is Choice Specs, and that, that is Choice Specs damage right there. That hurt a lot. I'm like, shit, gotta get out of here. Go into my Shands little but makes the much better play, makes the double switch into the Snorlax as I bring in my Chandelure. I had to go, I had to do that, I literally had to because if I didn't I would have lost my Umbreon and that would have been dreadful for me. But here I decided to go for the trick, maybe expecting him to predict me to switch out, but instead he goes for Pursuit and it turns out he's Choice Banded, so I'm like whoa, my Chandelure is dead. So I'm going to try and get off a stab hit and then I'm just going to go down to another Pursuit, so very good lot of plays on his part early on in the battle which uh, really puts me back a step but in comes the little playmaker over here the Hunch Crow cool story bro star of the show Hunch Crow a little bit of rhyme I'm a poet that's right and I go for the BB the brave bird and take out that Snorlax get my marks marks my marks boost and this is a black glasses set with <laughs> I know what you're thinking why the hell not run expert but I decided to run black glasses to get my sucker punch power up and I take out the Zado straight away, get myself up to plus two, and things are looking quite dandy for me. Uh, I, I might say that myself, I did say that. And here I predict him to predict me to not go for the Sucker Punch, so I go for the Sucker Punch and take out his Nether Queen. And here comes a, a few interesting plays. The Porygon Z comes in, I knew it was going to trick, but then I was like, screw it, I'll go for Sucker Punch, I have nothing to lose here. So I go for it, he tricks me, I get the choice specs as you can see, and he gets the black glasses which of course will help him. I just go for a sucker punch again. After I click sucker punch, I was like, oh maybe he'll switch out because that will probably be the much better play to see what I want to lock myself into. And then he can react accordingly. But he, uh, he doesn't, he lets his Porygon Z die and then this thing subs and then it's focus punch so I'm like, well, see you later Hange Crow, you're going to die now. But before you do, do us a favor and take out that sub for us. I would really appreciate it. And then my uh, Nino King can come in and do some work. So that's what happens. He takes me out with the focus punch, unfortunately. And uh, I Hunchcore did well. I took out four guys. So most of his team was gone. I was really, really looking really down in dirt at the start of the battle. Mattel, Mattel, yeah, at the start of the battle. He was making some great plays, and I was just falling short at the uh, at the hurdle. Let's just say that. I go for the Ice Beam because I character and Earth Power only has like a 12% chance to kill from full and he was near enough full for me to be like, no, nah, it's not going to kill. So I went for the Ice Beam, he brings in the Bro and my Earth Power only do about 70% to this thing. So I'm going to switch out, go into my Umbreon and try and get some working out from there. He actually goes for the Trick Room which is kind of cool. I learned his set is Trick Room Toxic and then Scold, I assume Psychic. 
Uh, so that's a thing. He retoxics me, which I'm not sure is a good play because I can just synchronize that on and then later on go for the heal button and take it off my Umbreon so he can't really storm me out. My Heartscrow did put a massive lot of holes through his team and uh, but I'm still not out of the woods. He's still got Golurk and his Slowbro who can probably be a threat if I don't handle it accordingly and cor correctly. Correctly, man! I can't handle it correctly through my American accent which is terrible. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that accent. Uh, but in comes the Golurk, and this Golurk has speed investment, so I end up actually outspeeding it after I get up to full HP. Uh, I do outspeed it because Trick Room was up, and so Kapowie! Take out that Golurk, one hit, foul play, doing work. Golurk just died. It died to an Umbreon. <laughs> Umbreon, putting in the hours, putting in the work, and now I'm looking at full HP against a slow bro who only has Toxic Eye, Peel Bell, so I've pretty much got the game in the bag at this point in time. So that's going to be a good game, youngster J Pow. Um, he does upload, so if you were to like to go check him out, I would uh, really appreciate it, and I'm sure he would too. Uh, nice little Yu Yu battle. I don't particularly play Yu Yu that much, it's not my select here, but this team. I really do like. It doesn't carry Stealth Rock, so I kind of want some suggestions of what I should pl put in and what for, so I can have some um, Stealth Rocks uh, help on my team because it would help for my Heart Scroll if it wants to start sweeping, like it almost did here. So, yeah, that's the battle, guys. I just finished off the slow of the, the foul play. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe. I've been John Origins, and I'm out. So, peace.